Ayanna Adams, who is Guyanese by birth and a U.S. citizen, was returning to New York on a Caribbean Airlines flight after vacationing in her homeland. According to her attorney at law, C.N. Dorjan, her ordeal started after her luggage was searched and she had passed through security screening. Just as she was putting on back her shoes, she saw the same kind of guy that searched her. And he told her, Mom, you'll have to have a seat down there. And um, then two females from Kanu took her into a room with um, mattresses on the wall and mattresses all over the place. And um, she was told that they need to do a thorough scan and that she had to take off her clothes. And um, so at this point, she takes off her jumpsuit. She, well, she protests, of course. She asks, what's the problem and all of that? It says just procedure. He related that she reluctantly took off her jumpsuit, leaving just her bra and underwear. The attorney said that the agents were not satisfied, however, demanding that she take off all her clothes, squat, and cough. Dorjan explained that his client's reason for not going through this process was because she was experiencing her menstrual cycle. He said that this fact was explained to the Kanu officers but to no avail, nor did they heed his warnings that they had no authority to force her to do a cavity search or scan. The attorney said that after a while, his client was transported to Woodlands Hospital. By then I show up at the hospital and I notify all the Kanu ranks there that they have no power to do this. This is an unlawful procedure. My client should not be under arrest. And um, and then they, they nevertheless, and, and we told them we do not consent to any x-ray or any ultrasound or any medical procedure being done or any medical test being done on my client. And they still went behind my back. When I wasn't looking, they went into the room and they did it. And it was found that she had nothing inside of her. Afterwards, he said, they endured further hassle seeking accommodations for Adams as she had already missed her flight. According to Durjan, they will be filing a lawsuit against the state to seek compensation for the missed flight. He explained that they will also be seeking reimbursement for accommodation missing school and her work and damages for the breach of his client's human rights. Gerald Bryan, The Evening News.